No, not my cereal. Not my cereal. Bless you. Bless you. You need to cuddle. You need to playful. Yeah. Someone's all chipper this morning. I don't know why. It's not a time achoo, to be achoo. chipper. Achoo, achoo, achoo. It's not going to sneeze if you say that. Morning. Ooh, it's pretty outside. It's pretty and windy. They're very tall trees. See? Pretty outside. Windy, but pretty. It's all pinks and purples and stuff. Kind of hard to... Camera doesn't really do it justice, but... Still pretty. Cameras never do. Whoa, it zoomed in on my face! What? Wow. So, we finished season 5 of Lost. Only one season Whoa. left. Oh, only 16 episodes left. Everybody's everywhere. And there's so many people I haven't seen in such a long time. Uh -huh. I want to know where Claire is. Or do you? I do. Are you sure? I'll slap you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, I want confirmation that, like, everybody else that was, like, on the crash, the first one, is dead. And. Like, all, like, the, the, ran all the, the random, random people, people that. people that we don't know the names of that didn't really matter. I think, yes. I think yeah, but, like, it's not been stated yet. Uh, and they totally yeah. did not kill everybody with those flaming arrows. Because there was a million people <laughs> running. And, like, only, like, five got shot and killed. Mm. Not that many. I think we're supposed to believe that it was everybody. Except for the people that we actually know. Yeah. Basically, no more randos. Yeah, I guess. Is, I think that's what we're supposed to, to take believe. From that. To take from that, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, though. Um, Do you love but Lost? Yeah, I love Lost so much. Sean's so cheating, and he forget forgot things, and he looked them up to understand everything. It's still... Look, even, You're cheating. Even watching and knowing the whole show, it still can be confusing. I was just wanted to kind of confirm stuff. No, you forgot how things went, so you looked it up. So yeah, I guess. You cheated. I did. It's not fair. I'm sorry. Well, you'd get really, really, really mad at me if I did that. Yeah, but I already know the answers. <laughs> but you don't know everything. No, I don't. You've forgotten, so you um, should watch it. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. It was more so I was looking certain things up to see if certain... Because some things don't ever get answered in that show, which is totally okay. But I wanted to know if certain things did get answered. Because you're always... You keep asking me questions sometimes. I ask you questions, but I don't expect you to answer. I know, but I also want to inform you whether or not your question will get answered. Yeah. You know? And so that's kind of why I was looking stuff up. In time. In time. In time. <laughs> but yeah, Lost is so good. And I forgot how much of, like, season five ends on, like, such a big cliffhanger and everything. More so than I'd say any of the other seasons. Uh, but yeah, really, really good. And luckily, we don't have to wait, like, four or five months to see what happens next. We could watch it now, but we're not going to. I think we're going to take, like, a, a, a little bit of a break from it. It's just... <coughs> At least that's what we say, and then we're going to end up like, watching it tomorrow. It's just a... It's an end of a season, and so... Like, even though it's a cliffhanger, it's a break to, like, then think about the whole season, I guess. Yeah. Because, like, generally with, like, everything else, you'd have to wait if you were watching it as it was appearing. And yeah. It just makes you think. 
That's good. Yeah, there's a season break for a reason. Exactly. <sighs> and then, I don't know, we'll figure out what to watch after that, if anything. I don't know, maybe we'll just take a break from shows for a while and we'll just watch movies or something. Or an anime. Samurai 7. Samurai 7. Okay. I love Samurai 7. Me too. So good. <laughs> I'd love to watch Samurai 7 with you. I own it too, which is funny. I know. Yeah. It's one of the few things that like we both own. We both and it's own. so interesting that it's an anime. Who goes there? My mother. Uh oh. It's my mother. Hello. We were gonna watch a movie. You should dust your room more often. Uh -huh. I did. Uh -huh. It was gross. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I dusted a bit when I cleaned. <laughs> Arthur, you're not helping my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arthur. I did do all good check. Get her. He's looking at my nose. Because he's nose there's dust in there. You know what you should dust? Arthur. Your blinds. They're very dusty. Hello. They're very dusty. Anyway, we're gonna watch a movie. What movie? Angels in the Outfield. Dog butt. Which is, like... So old. It's, well, it's 1994. So old. But the thing is, it has, like, a bunch of people in the movie who are, like... Itty like, bitty? Like, who are big stars now that, like, were nobody back then. Like, Adrian Brody, Matthew McConaughey. I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in it. I think he's the kid in the movie. Don't know. Um, I, I, I'm I, so excited yeah. to watch this, has this was actual, one of my like, favorite movies as a kid. It has, like, big people at the time in it as well, but there's, like, there's, there's, there's a lot of people in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good movie. One of the best movies ever. Something tells me it's not going to be as good as you remember it. Uh-huh. I have a feeling it's going to be a little dated. I love this movie. Still. Exactly. I remember watching this movie a lot as a kid, so yeah. Angels in the Outfield. And then? And then we're going to watch Angels, Angels in, in the, the infield, infield. Which I didn't know was a thing. I did. It's also okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tells me it's going to not be as good as the first one. Well, yeah. It's from 2000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been really working on uh, getting rid of all the uh, downed trees and everything from the ice storm that was, what was that? A couple weeks ago, I guess. Was that before Christmas or after Christmas? I can't even remember. So taking Arthur on his final stroll before going to bed. And yeah, me and Lydia watched uh, Angels in the Outfield and Angels in the Infield. Safe to say, no big surprise, Angels in the Outfield, much better than Angels in the Infield. Although it's still, you know, it's it's still okay, I guess, for for that kind of a movie. But yeah, Angels in the Outfield is, uh, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's a good movie. It's kind of weird. Like, there, there's a lot of nostalgia to it for me, I guess, but uh, it wasn't bad. It's really funny. And seeing, like, young Adrian Brody and really young Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and like Matthew McConaughey and who else was in it? Danny Glover, Christopher Lloyd, Tony Danza. Like seeing all those people is just it was really cool. <laughs> but yeah, pretty good movie. Yeah, Angels in the Outfield. I mean, Angels in the Outfield, good. Angels in the Infield, meh. Although it does have, um, what's his face? Patrick Warburton? I think his name is. The, um, the guy who, uh, who's Kronk in The Emperor's New Groove. Uh, he's, he's in Seinfeld a bit. He's, uh, he's Brock Sampson in The Venture Brothers. And he talks like this. I don't know if that's a good impression or not. <laughs> Come on, Arthur, let's go to the bathroom! Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was a really bad impression. I apologize. 
All right, so we're, we're going for a walk, and it is dark, and it is cold, and there's ice everywhere. Arthur's like slipping around. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> yep, definitely ice everywhere. All right, hurry up, Arthur. Pee everywhere, and let's get inside where it's nice and warm. And let's try not to die. Good night, Arthur. Good night, Lydia. Good night, Sean. Good night, Sean. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>